All right, today I want to talk about memoization. Now, this is the process of saving the results of your function to improve performance. Now, if you're going to be calling a function repeatedly, and by repeatedly, I mean not just two or three times, but many, 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 many times. If you're going to be calling that function and you're going to be passing in the same values again and again, if that function is something that's computationally expensive, if it's something that is going to require a lot of processing power, then why not save the results of that function? So if you call it with the same arguments again and again, you can get better performance. So this is an example right here. I have a function, and my function is going to be this one that's returned right here, but I'm going to give it the label myfunc. So this is my function. This is an iffy, it's an immediately invoked function expression, so I'm going to run this whole thing. This is going to return the function that I'm declaring down here. So this arrow function is what's going to be assigned into my func, so I can call this thing again and again and again. Down here, this is what we're going to be doing to test this thing. So I've got seven times that I'm going to call my func, and then seven times again I'm going to call my func. The first time I do this, I've got 9 million and 8 and 100,001 are the two values. Down here, I've got 9 million and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So these numbers are just slightly less. They're pretty close to the same, but they're just slightly less than this. And then the second value is going to be the exact same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loop this number of times and I'm going to multiply it by this number, and I'm going to add together the result of that, the product of that multiplication, after looping this many number, this many times. So I'm just trying to do something that's computationally going to take a bit of time. There's a lot of loops, there's a lot of adding, there's a lot of multiplying, something that's going to take a little bit of time for the computer to do. I'm going to measure the time at the start, the time at the end, and I'm just taking the timestamp in milliseconds, so I'm hoping to see a difference between this version and this one. Although the numbers are just slightly less here, I'm expecting this one to take a lot less time than this time. And that's because here I'm using the same values every time. And I'm going to save the result. If I pass in the same values again to my function, I want it to just be able to look up and say, oh, I've run it before with those values. I know what the result is, so I'm just going to give you back the result. So this is going to have to run the first time, but the rest of these are just going to say, oh, I've already got the answer for that. Here you go. Here's the answer. That's what memoization is. So inside my function, I'm going to have a value here called memo. This property, or this object, is going to store the results. Every time I call this function, if I've got the same keys, I'm going to use that key and store the result. I've got a function called getKey where I'm going to pass in two values. Now, this is assuming that I've always got two values being passed in every time I call my function, but you can adapt this depending on how many arguments you're going to be getting passed in. With those values passed in, I'm going to create a key. I'm going to take those two values, so these two numbers, 9 million and 8 and 100,001, and I'm just going to put a dash between them and make that a string. That is going to be the key inside this object for the result. So inside my function here, what we're going to do is we're going to check and see, hey, do I have a key? So we need to get the key. We'll say let key equal and we're going to call our get key function and we're going to pass in whatever the args here we're passing that in so we're going to extract the two values make our key out of that that's going to be the key here now i can check to see inside of here do i have something with this key so is there something inside of memo with that key if there is great, return that. If not, I have to actually do the calculation. And this is where our savings comes. We can just return. Hey, inside this memo object, what was the result? 
now I actually have to do my calculations. So we'll say let sum equal zero, and we'll do a simple loop. Let i equal args zero. So that's our nine million and eight. As long as args zero is greater than zero, we'll keep looping and we'll just decrement every time. So we're going to run through this loop and say sum plus equal args zero times args one. And again, it's not really important what we're doing here. It's just this is going to take some, take some time to complete this calculation. I'm looping from 9 million and 8 down to 0. And I'm saying whatever the current number or this 9 million and 8 times 100,001. And I'm just going to add that to the sum. And I'm just going to keep doing it again and again and again and again. 9 million and 8 times. When I get my result, I will save that result. So the next time I call this function, I will have a copy of it. And then we're going to return that value. There we go. That's the whole thing. So you have an object that can store all these keys, some way to create a key from the arguments, whatever they're called, whatever the values are, and then whatever your function is that you want to do. It doesn't have to be this. It can be anything at all. So let's open up our terminal, and we'll run this thing. Yep, and I made a mistake right here. This shouldn't have been args greater than zero because it will always be its i greater than zero. Just a stupid mistake on my part. Let's clear this out, run it again. There we go. And we can run it multiple times and we'll get similar results. So the first time that we run through this with the larger numbers, it takes 15 milliseconds. And again, 15 milliseconds. Because we're looking up that result. We have to run it once, but then all the rest of these times, these are just looking up the result. They don't have to actually run through the loops. This one, even though the numbers are smaller, it's taking a lot longer. It's taking like five times as long to go through the motions of actually doing all these calculations. So that's what M memoization does. It saves us time by caching the result of whatever your function is. So I hope that helps you out. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.